Morning everyone, Flufe here. When I made my Hypixel Games tier list a few weeks ago, I knew going in that people weren't going to agree with everything I said. I thought the biggest complaint I'd be receiving was about Mega Walls being in D tier, Quakecraft being in F tier, one of the games I overrated. But the biggest complaint I actually got had nothing to do with what was in the video, but rather what wasn't. I excluded a few games from the video for various reasons. Either they were prototype games that felt unfair to rank, or they weren't on this page on Hypixel's website that names every released game. I guess I should have explained it a bit better in the video, instead I got a bunch of Skyblock players that were disappointed I didn't talk about it. I may look more into that in the future. For now, I did give my admittedly incomplete opinion on Skyblock in the comments of that video if you care. But there was another game mode I looked over that I was very surprised people were asking me about. And that's The Pit. I know it's two comments out of like 20, but I honestly didn't think The Pit was big enough for people to care. It's got more active players than I thought. But come on guys, did you not see the singular frame where I go over my opinion on The Pit? It's right there, you just had to know when to look. But that opinion's rather dated and based off of The Pit from years ago, so here's what I'll do. Instead of appeasing the people that complained at me for not talking about Skyblock, today I'll be making these two people happy and then officially putting the pit in a tier. So on with the video, my first time giving the pit a try in years. Also, I hate asking for this in the intro of videos, but please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, uh, so here we are in the Hypixel Pit. It's been a long time since I've played this. You'll notice I have level 62. I got that like way back in 2018 when I think this was still a prototype game. Since then, I've barely played this, uh, unless there was like a stats reset or something, but I don't think there was. These are the two perks I have, I have no idea if they're the good ones. I got a bunch of gold, I don't really know what to, to do with it. I mean, I guess we could get some items here. I kind of want to just go in with the starter stuff and just see what the hell happens. So basically, uh, here's the way the pit works. You jump on this, and the game just sends you in the middle of nowhere and you fight people. People tend to have different gear on one another, like you got some guys with diamond chest plates and diamond boots, then you got me, a uh, half chain, one piece iron, no helmet. At this stage of the game, pretty much all I want to do is kill other people that have nothing, and just see how high of a kill streak I can get. Or I can clean up people with diamond armor and steal it for myself, because when you kill somebody, you get their armor, which is dope. I don't know, I don't want to use 500 gold for a diamond chest plate. I want to just, like, get a diamond chest plate when my kill streak gets high enough. I'd kind of prefer that. But who am I to, to, to shit on the way that the pit does things? Also, this is definitely a team of two, which you can do in the pit. Uh, there are teams. I think the reason why the pit is not on the page of, like, high pixel mini games that I used for the tier list is because I guess there's no lobby? I don't know if that's why. I mean, it's basically just an arena. Like, housing is, uh, you know, not included in the tier list either. Like, some of the games, it was pretty obvious why I wouldn't rank them. Like, Skyblock and Dropper, I think, are are the only games in the prototype lobby right now. Didn't feel fair for me to talk about games that aren't even fully released. And I know that, like, just about every Hypixel minigame is not actually uh, fully released. But it did just kind of feel a little more unfair to, to have games that are specifically seen as prototype uh, just be included. I actually killed somebody with diamond armor. Alright, cool beans. Uh, they didn't drop the chest plate, though? Oh, Jesus. But yeah, you can kill people for diamond boots. It's just not the most easy thing in the world. Like, that fight required a bunch of bow spam and then a bunch of running around in circles and not my greatest performance. Uh, every once in a while, you get people like this who just sort of chill in the corner. But I mean, hey, look, I can just get free kills, uh, which gives me a golden head. Yeah, I mean, look, you got like 50 kill streaks and stuff like that in the chat. It gets like these bounties on and stuff like that. And all that stuff is pretty cool. There's actually a lot of content in the pit for what it is. It is just like an arena PvP thing. But there's a lot of prestige and stats things you can do. Like, there's a lot for people that like this sort of thing. I don't do much just PvP anymore. I prefer just playing the minigames. I used to do arena PvPs, like, all the time. Now I very rarely do it. And I still think those kinds of things can be fun. I remember, like, very way, like, way, way, way back in the day getting, like, 50 win streaks on, uh, on random servers I used to play on. And that was always, that was always fun. Once you get a high enough win streak on these sort of things, people get so mad at you. I remember, uh... I've been, I've been threatened a few times through arena PvP situations. Like, there's a lot of toxicity in games, usually. Especially competitive ones. Like, I've been called just about every single insult in the book while doing, like, arena PvP, and... Sky Wars has gotten me quite a bit as well. I somehow got a six kill streak. I'm not even really paying attention. I'm just sort of talking and running in circles and waiting for people to show up. I know there's some arena PvPs out there that are, like, uh, pot PvP, like, just a bunch of splash potions and stuff like that. 
I never liked pop PvP. I don't know how people could get into it. Like, do your fingers really not get tired from all that clicking? Like, that's it's just awful for me. There's also a lot of events and stuff like that, which is always pretty neat to see. No other server I've played on had that. But it is a different dynamic. Like, if you're looking for just regular arena P PvP stuff, uh, you're not really going to get it from this server. Also, I just freaking died. Wow. Oh, he knows I'm here, doesn't he? Oh, wait, this is the guy that killed me. <laughs> get me my dang thing back. I want my boots. Wait, no, he didn't even drop the boots. <laughs> well... I got revenge. It was an accidental revenge, but I still got it. Uh, I'm not normally the- I'm not the most spiteful guy, though. Sometimes I will- I will be pretty spiteful towards Minecraft players and just play like an asshole. But I kind of do that to anybody. I remember way back in like 2019, 2020, I was doing a lot of UHC back then. And as that community started getting better and better, I- like, the skill gap started to decrease and it meant, it meant that my consistency was going down with winning games. But I still had game sense, so I knew how to win games, just I wasn't very good at PvP. So what I ended up starting to do at that point uh, was I would just run around in circles and let everybody else fight and just be really annoying to fight against. Basically, I would get everyone to get so bored that they would just stop caring and then eventually I'd win. <laughs> Personally, I thought that was a very uh, entertaining strategy. The weird thing was I actually kind of enjoyed running around in circles. As you can tell, I'm still doing it right now. To be honest, I don't know what blockhead means. What the hell is this? Oh, cool. Oh no. This is so bad. Get the hell out of here. Oh, well, okay. Alright, uh, I think I'm done playing the pit for now, so I'm gonna toss the mic back to scripted Flufe, and uh, he's gonna give this game a rating, so we'll see where it goes on the tier list. Bye, guys! So here's my conclusion. The Pit is a good game if you like PvP. It's not the same as every other arena PvP game, for better or for worse. Not everyone is really on a level playing field in this one, which I'm mixed on. However, I'm mostly fine with it in the context of The Pit because Duels exists and does have a level playing field. The Pit provided a good experience for me of just casually PvPing and having fun. However, it also has tons of replay value. There's interesting events, lots of upgrades, perks, and an entire prestige system that I didn't even cover in this video. You can spend several hours here and still not get everything out of The Pit. That's something Hypixel does very well, you're doing the same thing over and over again, but the experience is able to stay enjoyable by providing you with new tools to work with and new goals to achieve. It works if you PvP more casually like me, or if you want to grind it for stats. I see it the same way I see duels. The gameplay is simple, a bit repetitive, but it's fun and provides a lot to do for how simple it is to pick up. I think B tier is a fair placement for the pit. That may be a bit too generous, but for now I'm content with that decision. You can argue with me in the comments, though. Peer pressure would put it down to a C. Anyway, I may do this again with Wool Wars if I feel like it, because this was a fun experience. For now, though, I hope you all have a good day, and I'll hopefully see you in another video. Goodbye.